now let's see this one this is web table okay so web table not much difference but see what is mean by web table is this coding is written in a table format that's why we call it as a web table it is given inside the table tag so in html they have designed this table using table tag and every element inside the table are based on rows and columns see these are tr tag so tr tag is nothing but table row and td tag is nothing but the table data so each and every cell we have a table data other than that it will no, not have any uh, id or uh, whatever it is the value or nothing will be present only the table tags will be there so the only functionality we need to identify for this whole table is using the xpath only so here also we are going to identify the table first then only we are going to identify each and every element so we can't directly access the elements inside the table okay for that reason sometimes if i want to get the count of the number of uh, elements inside number of items inside the table we are going to use the uh, locator called tag name so that's what we are going to see so that is the only difference other than that everything is same see we can get the cell value used from the web table cell value is nothing but we can get either 15 and get it printed out or 24.63 we can print it out in our console and also what we can do is we can get the rows count and we can get the cells count cells count is nothing but there is no such option called column count here you need to remember that even though in html or any programming language mostly they will get the row count and uh, they will be getting the cell count cell count is nothing but 1 2 3 4 like that they will count and the uh, number of cells inside the table will be displayed mm. okay so we are going to perform that operation so for that what we are going to do is we are going to first get the table and these elements can be uh, accessed using that is if i want to get the text from the element that is if the item or uh, some text is available in the screen means i can just access the element and i can get the copy copy xpath that is i am going to get the element details from there so we will create a new program and we will do it step by step so other than that everything is same so we are going to just go from here system dot set property i am going to use the same url and fill this i am just going to use as it is so now my next step is i am going to get the details that is driver dot find element i am going to get the some element any one text or whichever text you require you can just go to the entire text and you can just click on that and go to copy copy xpath so just i am going to type driver dot find element i dot xpath of just going to copy and paste it okay so this is my details so what i method i am going to use is get text of so what is mean by get text is it is going to get the text which is displayed in the screen okay so if i want to get the text getting the text from the screen means i am going to use the method called get text of so whenever we get a text we need to store it inside the variable Maybe. so oh. yeah for that reason we are using the string why mm -hmm. because 
we we are not anyway this is a number but still we are using string data type why anything is get text of method right so get text of we will consider every text as a text only string only it will not uh, differentiate whether this is a float value or decimal value everything will be considered as a string uh, box so i am going to just say system dot out dot print l and of x so it is just going to print it out the text whichever i have this is okay so but if i want to get the row count and uh, details of that whole box so at that time i need the table name then only i can count the number of items inside the table you understand what, what is the concept if i want to identify a particular element then you can directly go for x bar and uh, we have it perform any operation inside this we have just fetch the value see it displays the value 24.63 from here mm. this value okay so what is our next option we are going to get the rows count and the cells count same procedure what is uh, what what we learned before list if i want to fetch the rows and columns i'll be using the web element class and inside that list library and before that i need to have my table name okay so by table name uh, i am going to store it inside the web element call html table or something any name and i am going to store the table name so i am going to now get the table name first mostly they should give the table name but uh, sometimes they will not give the table name also see they didn't mention the table name also again i need to go for x bar this is the whole table name so again i go here so just i'm going to say web element table name is equal to driver dot find element by dot for table is unique then after that tag name is a common thing tr td table and all it is a common thing so we are going to import the web element i imported the element now i am going to use the same procedure list web element i am going to use some name which is p is equal to i am going to use table name i have the details everything i have the details table name dot See, what i am going to do here is i am going to find elements so what are the elements there are multiple trs available see how many trs available we have multiple trs available so we are going to use the element called find elements elements is for the plural thing so that is the reason first we stored it inside the web element then now we are going to use driver dot uh, driver is available that is object name is available table name is available so we are going to use find elements by dot tag name here we are going to use the tag name of tr you understood the tag name is tr so now it will count only the size of the rows so it will get the tag name of the year so whatever tag names available how many tag names it is available everything will be stored inside this variable t or we can just say rows rows is available so it is going to get all the details of the tag name tr and we will be adding that utility file Double four. So again, it has utility file. So it is row count. It is going to collect the 
details of each rows in that i am i need only the row count so for that i am going to use rows dot size of okay hmm. so this is what the row count we can do the same for this also which one for the cells also so same thing what we are going to do for the cells also we are going to say perform the same operation by dot tag name of td so td is nothing but the data table data td tag so it will get all the td details and based on that it is going to count so i am just going to copy this paste it again i am going to just say data instead of tr i am just saying td and this is data count and here we are going to say data dot size of and this one is data count so first it fetches the text get text of method will get the text from the screen and uh, next one is from the table we are getting the information about the rows by using the tag name of tr and all the details will be stored inside the object and from that object we are going to get the size of the rows and it displays the rows information see we have three rows and 18 cells 18 cells 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 into 3 we have 18 cells and first row first row second row third row we have three rows and the, the data inside the table is 18 data that is 18 cells okay, so this is what the web table is <clears throat> 